Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, even though we're late to the party, we're going to be going over all the brand new gameplay footage and information that came out from a bunch of content creators that got the opportunity to have about an hour's play of the brand new DLC pack to the Indigo Disc for Scarlet and Violet. So like we said in the intro, we had a bunch about an hour's gameplay footage revealed by a lot of different creators this afternoon from US and from Europe as well. We had the opportunity to go to Pokemon and experience firsthand some gameplay, some playing around with the Indigo Disc, the DLC part two, which is out in a little over three weeks time. Very exciting. Of course, there is a lot of information that was revealed in this trailer. Nothing groundbreaking, but a lot of information in regards to the DLC itself. So we'll jump in. We'll take a look at the trailer. And while we do it, we'll talk through all the information that was revealed. A lot of the information that we're going to be talking about is based in the terrarium. So it's located below the Blueberry Academy. And I think one of the things that Joe, Serby Joe mentioned was the different biomes here. And then at the start of the DLC, you get introduced to Cyrano and Lacey, who talk about the possibility of terrestrialization being a thing in the Blueberry Academy, in the terrarium, uh, because it's normally just kind of locked to Paldea, right? But you can do it in the different biomes in the terrarium. And also terror rays are available. If we just pause or just skip back a minute here, we're going to be able to see our first evidence of a terror raid. And you can see up in the top right left hand corner here, there is the kind of glistening up to the sky of a terror raid. So terror raids are going to be appearing here as well as the static wild terror Pokemon as well, which you can see just behind to the left of the tree here. So both indicators that they both things are going to be available in the terrarium, which is really uh, nice to see. But it's powered by the big globe on top of the Blueberry Academy, but they don't know what it's made of. So that's a little bit of, uh, I guess, a hint that we'll find out throughout the story of this. But confirming that terrestrialization is going to be a thing. Terror Raids are going to be there as well as the static wild terror Pokemon. So there's the globe. I would say that's the globe that they're maybe referring to on top of the Blueberry Academy that kind of powers somehow the terrestrialization within the facility. So you can see the four biomes here. They've all been given names as well, and they all have different uh, attributes to each of them, I think. So here we've got the polar biome, we've got the coastal biome, we've got the savannah biome, and the last one is the canyon biome, which is the one down to the bottom right hand corner here. So all four biomes, like I say, different attributes to each of them, and you're going to get different Pokemon appearing in each one of them. We do get to see a few of the Pokemon that appear in different biomes as we go through the gameplay footage it's quite exciting to see we've got the smeagol here you can see vibrava and trap inch in the background there which is kind of exciting to see that both of them we knew they would come into the games but to see them out in the wild is quite cool then we've got the the polar terrain here again we're going to get a clip of a terror raid in the distance here i'm obsessed with terror raids i'm just wanting them to be in this area and we kind of know now and that's going to be one of the the elite four battle facilities i would imagine here because they're all on those kind of raised block platforms and i have no idea what the blocks are doing but they really segregate each part of different biomes you've got alola and executor which is in the coastal biome which seems to be quite themed around alola because you've got some other alola pokemon that are spotted here we've got the alolan golem and i think philly beats in his review does talk about alolan grimer was something that he came across that is available so uh, hopefully the other alolan pokemon are going to be available within these different biomes whether or not it's all in the coastal biome or not or the other ones but hopefully all the uh, regional variant pokemon that are available in the indigo disc are in this area so this would be kind of cool dealing of course going to be in each of the biomes i think cerebi joe said and again there's another indicator that there's a terror raid in this area so i'd imagine the terror raids are going to be kind of the pokemon that are homed housed in these areas so a lot like paldea a lot like kitakami the pokemon that are like residents of those areas are going to be what the terror raids are made up of and whether or not we'll be able to get herba mystica from them is going to be interesting to see because some of the new pokemon centers they're going to be unmanned and then you've got the vending machines which are going to give you like pokeballs essentials that you're going to get at the pokemon so your potions and revives and all those sort of things so these are going to be dotted around the biome, so you're going to be able to utilize them throughout in these different buildings. And I think each biome's Pokemon Center building-esque places are all going to be kind of different as well. So we do see another one in the Savannah biome in a moment. This is the kind of lessons that you're going to do throughout the story. I think this is one of the teachers that are at the Blueberry Academy. And the big thing, I think the takeaway from all of the previews from all the different content creators was that everything 
is going to be very competitive based so uh, all the battles that you're going to experience in the blueberry academy in the terrarium all the elite four battles and things like that are all going to be double battles so that, and there's going to be common strategies common double battle strategies used within the elite four members and some of the more tougher trainers that you come across so things like trick room and kind of tailwind things like taking advantage of terrains with with seeds and stuff like that so it's going to be really interesting and on that point as well it might be worth me putting out a video uh, i'm obviously quite entrenched in vg being a caster and a player so if you would like to see a video put together of some strategies that might help you when you're putting your team together uh, to go into the indigo disc let me know down in the comment section below i'm happy to put something together for all of you if it would be helpful in regards to that but the other thing that joe mentioned i found really interesting was the the dropped items like the glistening items like that that you can pick up around the area he picked up a rock terror shot so a glistening object one of them that give him 18 rock terror shots so it might be a lot easier to get terror shots in the terrarium as well which is really good for competitive players and just building in general this is where you kind of have to use your battle points so battle points bp is not something that we've had access to in scarlet and violet so far uh, we've got league points of course and then poker dollars but we haven't got battle points and i'm just going to point to this as well so battle points be a new feature battle points are normally related to like battle factories and kind of battle facilities in pokemon games so it's kind of encouraging that we might be getting a feature like that at the end of the blueberry academy and the when we finish this part of the story it might unlock something where we can go in and challenge whatever a lot of different trainers and things like that which would be quite good now here this is interesting if you look at the scroll bar to the side look how small that is meaning this is how many items this vending machine will have now it only goes down to i think the heal balls here so ultra ball heal ball yeah so you can see how many more items there are going to be in this vending machine in my kind of take on it i would say because it's so based around competitive pokemon vg double battles I would say there'll be a lot of battle items in here that you're going to be able to pick up. Maybe vitamins, maybe feathers, bottle caps, old bottle caps, maybe. I don't know. You never know. I might even go as far as to say apricorn balls could be picked up in these vending machines. That would be pretty cool, right? Um, all things I think that would be centered around competitive Pokemon. I imagine you're going to be able to pick up from these vending machines. I could be wrong, but I'm kind of wishful thinking here. But it's just that is a that is a long list of items for what you would normally get at a Pokemon. So it seems a lot longer than a regular Pokemon item list, but we'll see. And these are dotted around the whole the different biomes. So they, different biomes might have different items available. Uh, but like I say, with going back to the Elite Four battle here, you have to pay battle points to take on the Elite Four leader. And in this case, then you have to do a trial, which I think the trial is the flying trial in this one. Which is pretty interesting because it, I think Joel got given different footage to what Philly got given. Because Philly was playing on Scarlet and Joel's playing on Violet. The thing here is with Joel when he's about to go into the fly trial. You don't see any animations about how his uh, Mariodon given access to this flying mechanic. But if you go and watch Philly's video. There is an animation. There is a scene where the Coriodon is given something to eat. It's eaten something and then it has the same animation that... You would see in the titan uh, battles after you beat a titan pokemon with arvin arvin makes a sandwich out of the herba mystica then you give a bit of that to your ride pokemon and then it has that animation where it learns a new ride move it's the exact same animation so it's it's a bit weird like is that new mechanic that you'll get given for this this new side quest this new mini game is that going to be permanent because you've been fed or you've given your ride pokemon herba mystica so whether or not that is a permanent feature or is just for this mini quest, I just found it a little bit interesting that it was the same animation for unlocking new ride mechanics on your ride Pokemon. Uh, but check Philly's video out, you'll see what I mean. So you can see here, this is the time trial going in and it looks like you just have to fly through the hoops. They're powered by Magnemite as well, which is pretty cool. And it looks like a time trial that you have to complete in a certain time or you have to just complete the course. And then once you've done that, you do get to then battle uh Ameris, um which is meant to be a pretty tough battle none of the battle scenes were shown from this this particular elite four battle um but she does have six pokemon and they're not all of the same type and she uses some pretty interesting double strategies as well so even the elite four battles like we mentioned before are all going to be double battles so it's all very centered around double strategies which is 
which is exciting because, you know, like it might not be exciting for everyone, I understand that, but as a VG player myself and having so much love for the competitive scene in VG, I just feel like this is like what we've all been waiting for for a long time. So I'm, I'm very excited to go into it and I want to build a really cool VG team to take in to be able to kind of battle these Elite Four members and the other trainers around the region. I think it's going to be really good. So uh, you can see this is where you go to the location to do the, the fly mechanics. There's other trainers there that are kind of waiting or have done the, the flying trial. So it might be something that you can do after the gym battle um, or the Elite Four battle as well to unlock other features in the game and get other rewards. So it'll be a little bit like Olga ousting, but without the need of having to do it with uh, other players um so you might be able to do it solo uh, by yourself in game which would be a nice change but there might be more rewards that you can do later on after the elite four have been vanquished and stuff like that like i say we don't get to see the the gym battle there's just some promo uh, material here and then then this this little flick scene here to rage and bolt and then i will mention rage and bolt and iron crown because it's interesting what philly says in his information in his video where he goes on to talk about uh, the fact that although he's not allowed to go back to Paldea, they do talk about Raging Bolt and Iron Crown, who are both shown. This is in Area Zero, so we know for a fact that probably both of the Paradox Pokemon and the two remaining Legendary Paradox Pokemon will hopefully be catchable in Area Zero, which is really good news because I don't know if a lot of you were under the impression that it might be another Terror Raid event, which in my opinion would be the worst idea ever if we had a repeat of the Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. Just let us catch them in, in Area Zero. That's what I think. So that kind of gives us a lot of hope, I think, going forward. Joe also mentions as well, a lot of new TMs are available. As you'd imagine, we got a lot of new TMs unlocked in Kitakami. Same goes for the Indigo Disc as well. So I think things like Expanding Force is one of the big ones. Scorching Sands, Break and Swipe is coming back. So yeah, there's a lot of TMs coming back. Uh, he's got a full list of them in his preview uh, that you can go across the Cerebi and kind of read. But that is about all the information that we got. So some exciting new information, of course, no new Pokemon kind of confirmed in this, but you kind of weren't expecting any new Pokemon to be revealed in this. Hopefully we do get a trailer very soon, which will give us even more information and maybe a glimpse at some new Pokemon that might be in Indigo Disc or at least some hints to what the story is looking like. But we did get some good information, obviously the Terrarium. We got the confirmation of Terror Raids, Static Terror Raid Pokemon. Uh, terrestrialization is a thing there which we kind of knew from previous trailers where pokemon did terrestrialize we got the kind of glimpse at the 19th terror type no one got any information on that of course i think that's going to be and probably the battle with terapagos is going to be where we find out that 19th terror type or 19th type that we're going to see uh the other things obviously the uh, the mystery behind the dome on top of the blueberry academy powering the terrarium that's kind of like we need to find out about that that's kind of exciting lots to look forward to lots of mystery still about like the start of pokemon and things like that the early indications of this game it looks a lot of fun the area as well the terrarium said to be a lot bigger than kitakami map so it looks like there's a lot to explore there's a lot of pokemon to go out and capture and there's a lot of things that we can do to kind of keep ourselves busy after the the dlc drops and we've complete the story it looks like there's a lot to go back to and kind of complete in the post game of the indigo disc which is very very exciting and lots of like little quality of life updates as well that i think are going to be nice especially if there is a lot of more items accessible if, if easily available in those vending machines that would be great right and of course all the dropped items as well but let me know down in the comment section what your favorite things were from all the information that was dropped today it would be great to hear and obviously getting raging bolt and iron crown and then the other two legendary paradox potentially catchable in area zero is very exciting for me but i just can't wait to play these games like I say, a little over three weeks until they drop. Very exciting. That is it. Thanks for tuning in, friends. Thanks for getting this far in the video. If you have, drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And get down in the comment section below. Let's start a conversation about your favorite things that you're looking forward to seeing and doing in the Indigo Disc. But thank you for tuning in. Take care of yourselves, friends. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.